Hey, Isaiah, you know how we have seven kids? How would you like to have another one? Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by The Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules and the channel for The Lucid Simmer will be in the description below. We rejoin Latasha and Isaiah as their children, at least two of them, have grown up into teenagers. Wade and Cameron are able to help out at the farm with anything an adult has to do. So we're also waiting for the next heir, May, to become a child tomorrow. So she's a little bit tired. She stayed up all night working on her skills. So she's sleeping in today while everyone else is taking care of the farm. So we have finally finished our expansion. The greenhouse is now bigger and we have approached the end of the lot so what i also did is i decided that we needed to make a place for latasha and isaiah's other children because their parents would want them to stay on the farm for as long as they need and potentially even raise children here so we have the first floor of this outhouse now a family home and i know the butler is used to be in this room that is I moved him into the trailer and this is now a extension of the family home so we have another house here and a second floor which is actually identical because I'm too lazy to make them all different and then there's the third floor so we have three family houses in this little apartment complex over here and that will be good for three of the children. And then we also have the restaurant and the market place. So Cameron is going to live in the grocery store or above it. And she's getting stung by bees right now. And Wade is going to be the cook. He's going to live in the restaurant and he's going to own it as a business. He's also getting stung by bees. And then Malia is actually going to stay here in one of the apartments. And I think Pablo is going to be our inheritor for the farm. So he's going to be trained by Isaiah and have most of the traits that are in common with Isaiah and Latasha. And he's going to live in the main house. And then of course, May, our second gen heir, she is going to move out eventually and go to the big city and then that just leaves john and tracy which are our two infants right now and they're very sleepy because why are you sitting on her okay well anyway maybe we should put them away in their beds upstairs because i really want them to be downstairs during the day but unfortunately what happens is they get woken up by the dogs so maybe they should just come upstairs and we'll worry about that later. May is playing with her toy and she's pretending she has superpowers. Yay, fly through the air. We have superpowers. I'm flying. And Wade notices this and says to Isaiah, should we keep her? I mean, she is kind of imaginative. May says, I don't want to be kept. Well, Grim is back yet again. I think he's taking one of the chickens, which I don't think that the evil chickens can interrupt, or at least they can't save the chicken. Well, we're losing Prudence too. Oh, Latasha's eating for two, so that means she's going to have another baby. Congrats, Latasha. Let's go tell Isaiah. Hey, Isaiah, you know how we have seven kids? How would you like to have another one? Oh, look, Emma Bergman came over. I have tried really hard to keep this town intact and keep all of the families having kids and staying in the town because this is supposed to be a small town feel where no one really leaves. Everyone stays here. Everyone grows up and gets a job here. So basically, the, the families that we have here are Chopra, Goldbloom, Bergman, McMillan, Brandon, Hester, Watson, Scott, and Moody. And all of those families are only in Henniford and on Bagley, except 
for the one Scott couple that moved out because Maria was fighting with her mother. So I did check on them, and it turns out that Maria actually moved into San Machuno. And I don't know why she did that, but for whatever reason, she decided to move there. So maybe that will give us a little bit of a storyline as to why the heir May wants to move into San Machuno. Oh no, Latasha fell in! I don't believe that. She was actually just feeding the fish. That's not good. Well, at least she's pregnant, so she can't die because your sim can actually die from that, especially if they're very sad. But since she's pregnant, she can't actually die. Why, hello, Grim. Did you take one of my chickens when I wasn't looking? You probably did. Okay, yesterday was supposed to be May's birthday, but I didn't have time and I don't think that I got the notification that it was officially her birthday yet, which is strange. Okay, so this is Tracy and John's birthday, but to be honest, I think that, where did she go? Oh, there, the butler has her. So she needs to age up first. We need to bake a cake and get her aged before the other two automatically age up. No, don't put that away. I hate the maids. They want to put things away. I want that cake out for a reason. I need to put candles on it. Go away. Uh, he's going to put it away again, aren't you? you? You can leave. I don't want you here anymore. No, don't pick it up first. Just leave. I said leave. You're going to be in my shot. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, May. Okay, and because she's the Gen 2 heir, I'm going to make her squeamish. Now, I don't have to make her squeamish as a child, but I think that makes a lot of sense because she doesn't like things that are dirty, uh, creepy crawlies, vomiting, violence, and death. Okay, there's no real violence in the sim, but maybe that means fighting. So she's not going to like the farm. It's going to make her uncomfortable when she's around dirty things and especially fishing. So I wanted to try out some of the new child aspirations, but none of them really seem to fit her. I think maybe we'll just make her mental because she wants to be a video game player and she wants to gain video gaming skill. So we'll just do that. And there is May. Uh, we might actually just give her a makeover real quick though. Okay, so here's May. This is her everyday look, and I know the bag on the head is a little bit much, but I didn't have any really good options for costumes, and I don't really like CC clothes. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go with Space Cat and, instead of a superhero costume. And then we have her formal wear, which is a princess outfit. And then this is her athletic wear, which she's probably never going to use. See, she has inappropriate shoes since she's wearing jellies. You really can't exercise in those. And for her sleepwear, she's going to be the pumpkin skeleton. And then her party wear is just the same as her formal wear. Well, we honestly probably won't see either one anyway. There's her swimwear. And this is her hot weather look. Uh, I like to think that this is a space suit. And since we don't have any space helmets for kids, uh, I'm just going to say she got a pumpkin from the farm and made her own space helmet. And then this is her winter outfit. I can't believe that this is in the game. I completely didn't know about it until probably just a few minutes ago. But this is a Jawa. All right, and it happens to be winter. So May is actually going to be squeamish because she's the heir. And I also gave her the geek trait. So I have the mod that allows you to choose a few more traits for Sims. And she can actually pick one more, but I want to save that for her teenage years because I'm going to give her socially awkward and childish and neither one of those can be chosen right now. Yeah. So she's going to be our little Jawa. Oh, Wade has the option to graduate early now because he has an A. I don't know why Maria would be calling and telling him because she doesn't live here anymore. But now he can help out on the farm and he doesn't have to go to school. A fire. Wade, did you start a fire? I can't believe this. 
Put it out. Put it out. Come on. No, don't call the fire department. Just put it out. Put it out. No, don't go pick up the babies. Go put it out. Put oh, thank you, Isaiah. All right. Everybody calm down. The fire is being put out. No, don't go pick up. Pick, don't put them outside in the cold. The fire is getting put out. Of course, there's another fire. I don't know how it got under the counter, but I guess it's because this lot is so laggy that it takes forever for anything to happen. Okay, put it out, put it out, come on. It's taking up two counters, three counters. Uh, oh well, we'll just replace all this stuff. All right, everybody back inside. Go back to what you were doing, nothing to see here. So May's new room is actually going to be in the attic. She has this computer, but it's a typewriter, so I'm not going to let her play video games on it yet, except for Keyboard Commander, because I'm going to pretend that that's actually her learning how to type. So she can practice typing and play the Keyboard Commander, because Keyboard Commander is required for her aspiration. So we'll get around it by saying that this is a typewriter, and she's playing a typing game that she made up. Oh, and I think the infants are about to age up. Happy birthday, John. Okay, toddlers get two traits. Okay, I haven't used this mod before. So we'll do independent and wild. And I don't know how John got top notch infant because to be honest, I was having a hard time keeping up with their needs. Okay, she's going to age up. It's too late to give her a bath. We'll have to give her a bath when she's a toddler. Poor Tracy. Tracy, you don't know how to crawl. How did that happen? I guess they gave them the ability to crawl if they age up on their own. Yeah, she hasn't even rolled over to her back yet. All right, where are you going? That's too far. Oh, that's right. She has to be to the closest spot outside of the house when she got the age up buff or, or action or whatever that is okay and we're being a little bit crazy and we're also going to be independent because i want you to be able to potty by yourself and maybe inquisitive all right and you need a bath isaiah why did you go to bed give tracy a bath although wait that'll make him strict okay i cannot have him say bath she has to say bath it's just so stupid but that's the way it is where are you going isaiah oh you're looking at him walking okay so john can walk now good for you john why don't you go play with the dollhouse because you have no fun okay no no that's right i can't have isaiah put her to bed she has to say please read me a story no don't go sleep in the tent isaiah will read you a story so I have adjusted all of May's family dynamics to be distant and I have set opposite conversation likes and dislikes for her and all of her family members. And I also set all of their relationships to liked or maybe acquaintances because it seems like no matter what, they still get along even though they're not supposed to have a good relationship. I mean, I don't want them to have a bad relationship. I just want there to be no chemistry between them. And right now they're talking about things and it seems like they're not gaining any friendship, but they're also not losing any friendship, which is kind of strange. And May is saying, you will not overcome my superpowers. I have superpowers for chess and you're uncomfortable, why? Oh, you're sick. Okay. And you have a loose tooth. That's unfortunate. Okay, so she's got an embarrassed moodlet now. Maybe that will help her not succeed at her relationship roles or her friendly conversations. Everyone gather around. It's time for presents. I said it's time to open presents. All right, now we're actually doing it. Okay, Isaiah got the first one, so of course he got the one that was pranked. It seems like my presents always have a prank. And Pablo got a carrot? No, he's not happy about that. I wouldn't be happy either. It's just a carrot. Wade got a genius wall mount TV. Okay, we're not keeping that. John got a home for two dollhouse. Okay, not everyone opened a present, so we'll try again. 
Everyone should open a present, please. It's so difficult to get anything to happen on this lot sometimes. Okay, Malia got a true prodigy's violin. And we Tracy got a Blarfy. And a lyrical amplifier. A karaoke machine. Okay, Cameron got a karaoke machine. And Latasha got a naughty or knife block, which is a cheapskate present, but she liked it. And everyone opens their presents except for I think May was upstairs taking a nap. So now she's just getting something to eat. She missed all of the present opening. I think maybe I won't complete the holiday for her because she's just going to be too busy doing her own thing. And maybe if she feels sad because of the awful holiday, then she won't make friends with her family because it's just ridiculous. They, I have bad compatibility, opposite likes, and it seems like they're still becoming friends. Well, she did play chess with Malia, so I guess playing a game makes it easier for her to make friends. Okay, Cameron, you haven't graduated from high school yet, so you need to do your extra credit work. I don't know why she hasn't. She's an A student and she actually has some skills that are above level four, like flower arranging. Maybe that one doesn't count. She has cooking level three and handedness level two and everything else is level one. But I don't think that Wade had very much more either. I mean, he has baking. Baking was not above level one before he graduated cooking was maxed and gourmet cooking was like level five and i don't even think he had his he, oh he has gardening level four okay so maybe he has a little bit more skills than she does but for some reason she did not get the call in order to graduate early so we got to make sure that she keeps her grades up help her with her homework and maybe you can play another game of chess may Ooh, Malia needs to go to the bathroom though Okay, well, you'll have to wait until you're done with the chess game because I already said you had to play. I can't believe she got a violin. And, a, and we got a karaoke machine. Most of these things I really don't want them to have. I guess the violin is okay because they actually already have a violin upstairs. Maybe I'll leave this one outside, which is weird, but hey. Hi, Santa. Or Father Winter, I should say. Did you finish your homework already? No, of course you didn't. Um, is that not yours? Okay. I, I guess she did finish her extra credit because it's not giving me the option to do it. Aw, oh, so sad. It's alarm clock's time to go. Grim has come to take yet another one of my chickens. Goodbye, alarm clock. You were faithful, alarm clock. Oh, I hate toddlers that are messy eaters and infants too because they leave little piles of food everywhere. I can understand one pile, but no, it's like three or four every time they eat anything. Oh no, they're both messy toddlers. That's not fun. Oh, I forgot to put a night light in May's room. Whoops, I think she's going to go wake everyone up. Oh no, she just woke up her sister. Just Cameron? Okay. Um, but the only thing is Cameron has to go to the bathroom, so she's not going to help you spray the monster. Sorry. Okay, now she's going to go wake up Wade, but he also has to go use the bathroom. So you're going to have to ask someone else, why do you keep waking people up? Why don't you go and ask Latasha or Isaiah? Because they are already up. I don't know why child sims do this. Most of the time they actually go and wake up every single person and then go look at them spray the monster under the bed oh look it's the monster why don't you talk to the monster yeah she was actually going to go wake up the butler rather than go and ask latasha well latasha's asleep now for some reason in the tent okay get out of there latasha go sleep in your bed oh may actually made friends with the monster that's so cute Oh, come on, Grim. Not again. Salsa's time has come. Okay, well, unfortunately, I have so many chickens and a lot of them are about to be too old to live. And it's 5 a.m. and all the roosters are crowing. What a wonderful sound. Okay. May, can you go talk to the monster? Uh, I guess the monster is gone. Why don't you write in your journal? 
I got her a journal because I want her to be sort of creative, but mostly in a, I don't know, some kind of storytelling way. She likes to tell stories and she likes to play make-believe. So I want her to be a little bit creative, even though she's mostly a logical sim or a genius sim. She can't have the genius trait, though, because I don't have enough traits for that. But she's a geek. So she likes math and things like that. But she also likes writing a little bit. And now Cricket's time has come. Well, all my chickens are just dying right and left. Grim, what are you doing? Oh, no. And Latasha saw that one. So she's going to be sad now because she sees the chicken dying. No! my cow you're taking bell too well there goes my cow sorry bell we'll miss you i was milking milkshake okay i thought i was milking bell for a second all right may why aren't you why why aren't you going to school don't go to school with the plate in your hand okay that's why she's got a plate stuck in her hand or she's going to go set it down okay that's better Go to school. I thought maybe Grim was stopping her because usually they go to school by now. Okay, our new cow is named Butters. Okay, Latasha actually went into labor, but maybe we'll let you finish eating before we go have the babies. Okay, how many babies are we going to have this time? Latasha has had seven children. So if we have two more or three more, that'll be nine or ten kids. And I put the ley line trait back on, so I think we're going to get at least twins. Okay, we got a girl. Her name is Juanita. And another girl, Vera. Those are good names. Why didn't that one's outfit change? I thought I changed it. Oh, there we go. It was just really lagged. Okay, so we have a panda and some other kind of cute outfit it can't really see. Okay, believe it or not, build mode is the best way to see these outfits. Okay, it's like a stars and planets. That would have been good for May, but she was wearing like a plant or, or something. I can't really remember. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, she was wearing a plant because I was saying, well, Latasha would have made her wear something that Latasha liked. So this one, I just kind of picked two random ones and that one kind of looked good. So it was pink and I couldn't really see the stars or the planets or anything. You can't see anything when you're trying to choose the outfit. Well, school is over the, for the day and May is exhausted because she stayed up too late last night. So she's going to go to bed around 3 p.m. when she gets home from school. And then the rest of the family will go to bed at the regular time. And of course, Grim is not done taking my chickens. Reginald has one last pet. A I still have a lot of elders, so unfortunately, I think we're just going to keep getting a bunch of visits from Grim. It's just the way it goes. Don't fall in, Isaiah. Okay. Oh no, now it's Valerie that we're losing. Why, hello, Grim. I guess I don't have any more evil chickens that are alive that can save her. Because I think all of the ones that I asked for help have actually passed away. So we might be losing Valerie now. That's such a sad thing. I forgot to ask the new ones that grew up for help. Wait a second. Why did you go back over there, Grim? Nope. Okay. Well, we lost Valerie anyway. Okay, I guess Sue is attacking the Grim Reaper. For some reason, they didn't attack the Grim Reaper when Valerie died. Oh, it's the baby's birthday. We're going to have infants soon. Oh no, now Shaky is dying. Will he be saved? I don't know. Where's Sue? There she is. Are you going to save him this time, Sue? You didn't do anything last time. No, she didn't do anything. All right, now we have no more dogs. Oh, well, now you attack Grim. It's too late now. Okay, we're going to have infants. I didn't get a chance to age them up. Okay, cautious and wiggly. All right, time to get the infant cribs back out. Joy. 
Okay, today is Pablo and Malia's birthday. So we're going to get two more teenagers. Happy birthday, Pablo. Come on, blow out your can- Hey, death. I want to watch Pablo blow out his candles. I don't want to watch Grim take away another chicken. And Pablo is now a teenager. He's going to be loyal and let's give him the country caretaker aspiration, just like his dad. And that's not a halfway bad outfit. We might actually leave that one. Okay, quick, add candles. I forgot last time and your sister had to bake another cake in order to age up. Hurry up. Don't walk through the wall. Here comes Malia. Happy birthday, Malia. Okay, I guess she can be outgoing. And we'll give her Lady of the Knits, even though she's a cross-stitcher. All right, who started a fire? Was it my level 10 cook because of the grill? Um, yeah, I think so. You started a fire. Um, extinguish it, please. Thank you, Latasha. All right. I cannot get anyone to make any food. All right. Well, I'm going to take a chance again and grill something on this because I'm having a hard time with the counters. There's too many counters everywhere and no one ever finishes their food. So I'm out of food right now and I need someone to actually finish a dish. Don't chat, just finish the stew. Okay, we finally have some food in the house. Oh, he has a fear of fire. I did not know that. No wonder he started a fire. I was about to say, he's level 10 cooking. Why did he start a fire? Well, that's the end of another week. I'm working on putting the infants to bed. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank you.